Hey everybody, Dan Prey from Motor Room Motorsports in Lakeville, Minnesota, and today I'm going to attempt to show you how to install a Senna communications device into your helmet. Um, now, I've never done this before, so this is going to be a really interesting on-the-fly video. I'm probably going to have to cut it a couple times because it's actually operating hours at the store, so I may have people kind of interjecting as we go, but uh, let's see what happens. So this is, a, uh, as you can see on the box, the Senna. Uh, it's already been open, so that's why it's all flappy like this, but uh, this is the 10S uh, dual pack, so there's actually just two of them, so um, we will ignore the fact that there's two of them because we're only putting one in this helmet. Um, if you don't know what a Senna is, it's a Bluetooth communication system. It goes on your helmet on the inside and outside of your helmet. Um, doesn't take up a lot of room, um, and I'll show you here kind of what you got. So you have a rechargeable uh unit here it's kind of your broadcasting unit and what this does is um, it gives you all your audio basically so um, this attaches to this which is on the outside of your helmet uh, like uh, I don't know I've never used this before so excuse my ignorance about how this goes together I probably should have played with it a little bit beforehand <laughs> all right so this slots in like this clips on there you go that's the unit um, all put together obviously you have a wire going off of the helmet um, auxiliary plug-in and a micro USB connection uh, for charging the unit and yeah so that's pretty much it uh, disconnects real easy just got a little lever here plastic piece um, you can see the connections on the back side here so um, not really an unboxing video to go along with this because it's already been unboxed but some of the stuff you get with it obviously the comm unit uh, you get a, uh, these guys you get a microphone really nice microphone um, we'll see the quality of it um, the connections kind of proprietary so don't expect to be able to just plug in your favorite microphone like the one I'm using right now is a, uh, a Sony uh, stereo mic and it's a lapel mic it's not really designed for helmets I've actually tried it in a few and it just picks up a ton of noise so I'm hoping that this will eliminate a lot of that because I'm hoping that I can use uh, this system to record on the GoPro because I've seen some people doing it I've never done it before but I'm hoping it works because it could really really help the videos out a lot um, but we'll figure that out later so one microphone uh, this is doesn't have the second unit in here because uh, my boss actually has that unit but he's not using the mic in it because he just likes to listen to sports radio and stuff so uh, there's that so microphones uh, your earpieces so these are your speakers um, you know what I'm not familiar with speaker size on these <laughs> like I said I probably should have done some research before we started this video uh, but in here is uh, kind of earpiece cuffs some foam cuffs for uh, a bunch of different sizes and styles uh, lots of little baggies replacement um, microphone cover um, more mounting bracket hardware quick reference guide so here we go this is just like a quick how to use the unit uh, which is pretty standard I think if you pick this up and slapped it on your helmet I think you'd have it figured out um, in a pretty short amount of time if you're fairly handy with technology so uh, basic functions um, how to pair your phone how to use it with your phone intercom how to use it with music obviously super super easy um, you just have pause play Bluetooth you can jog dial for that kind of stuff AM FM radio and you can reset it so nothing on the back side what else is in this bag here more plastic stuff uh, already paired factory blah, 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 blah. okay that just lets you know that they're already ready to go from the set uh, so you can just plug them in and you and your wife or your friends um, or your, your husband boyfriend daughter or whatever you want to do um, will be paired together instantaneously this is all the lawyer um, gobbledygook which you know I'm sure somebody reads through this is in like a bunch of different languages I only speak one uh, so this is all I need if I was gonna read through which I'm not going to because <laughs> I don't think well, anybody really does. All right, take this insert out. More stuff down here. Um, so it has these like interesting little Velcro pads, uh, which, oh, cow, uh, work extremely well on the inside of your helmet. I, like, 
obviously not on the faux leather on the outside but you stick it, it really sticks so those are cool we'll set those to the side uh no don't speak that language getting started uh you can download the full user's manual device yeah we're not gonna do that we're just gonna play by ear so a little velcro pad this is a i guess we'd call that a female side more foam packing material lift this guy up and we have some cables so that looks like a charge cable uh another charge cable for your car another one for your car for the second one that's for your second option so there's that stuff i'm assuming my boss probably has the other charge cable uh let's see here this is a 3.5 3.5 headphone jack and then more accessory stuff so we might need that one actually to install um our so we'll put that to the side and i don't think we need that so we'll throw it back in the box and then the rest of it can stay in there for now and we will go from here all right so uh the unit itself pretty self-explanatory as far as what it does uh now that we figured out how it goes together it's pretty simple um we will set this aside and we'll actually put it on a charger and then let's look at the ports that this has on it this already has this clamp on it which i'm assuming uh is going to go on the side of the helmet kind of like that it'll kind of slide up inside the foam um but we need some tiny allen wrenches because these guys are already tightened down pretty tight and i can't get that off so i'll have to find that because i don't see offhand a I don't see offhand a little uh, tool for that, uh, which is too bad. So uh, we'll set that to the side. We we need our speakers, which I believe I put back in the box, which are right here. Right? No, where did I put them? I lost them already, guys. I'm just making a mess. That's all I'm doing. It's just a huge mess. Oh, and there is a little screwdriver. I found it. Or it's a uh, Allen wrench. Sorry, I was calling things names that they're not. All right, baggies, 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 baggies. Oh, crazy Velcro. Set it all to the side, and that mounting thing, set that to the side. All righty, and I don't know, oh yeah, I did put it back in here. All right, now if I pay attention to what I'm doing here. All right, these guys. So these guys are gonna go in the helmet. Um, they have a specific spot for them. They already have this velcro -y stuff um, on the back side of them. Um, pretty decent looking drivers on them. They should be nice. They're kind of shiny, which we'll never see them, but hopefully they sound really good. Uh, okay, so your helmet itself. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. With a sh this is a Showy RF 1200. <laughs> we'll take the chin piece out. Uh, and I already have a microphone kind of mounted in here, but we will pull that out. This is all pretty simple. Padding just, oh, I knocked the camera here. It just pulls out that and then I can pull my old microphone out and then on the RF-1200 let's pull this a little closer you probably can't see in there but there is an ear port right here which just comes out you just pull that out of your RF-1200 and there's actually a spot in here so the only downside I've ever had on an RF-1200 any of these showies is that they are a little bit noisy and this is probably why because they're actually designed um, from the factory to fit these guys. So, as you can see, this earpiece will uh, fit in here somehow. Fits like right like that. Um, and then it has a spot for the wire to go uh, out of the helmet. So you can kind of tuck it out of the way. It's kind of feeling here. I can see how I want to mount this. Because um, I believe I'm going to have to use a double-sided tape piece because this is plastic on the inside here. <laughs> so, speakers. Uh, since that's like that, if we take, boop, we can do that. That sucker's not coming off. 
uh, and then we'll put, mount this kind of backwards on the ear cup because it's supposed to go like this. Um, ooh, I'm gonna tear all this stuff off. This stuff is crazy sticky. Let's see if it will stick to this phone. No, it won't stick to the phone. So we could actually do, because I think it's just, no, it's actually sewed on there. Hang on a second. All right, so I was digging through the packaging and found these guys, which is, um, a, there's two of them. So obviously they go on the, uh, they go on the inside of the helmet and then you can uh, stick a, your headpiece to that because it's got all this really, really cool ultra Velcro <laughs> on the back side of it. So what we're gonna do, since we have our uh, kind of ear cup there, is we will peel the back side of this. If I can get my fingernail under there. And then you have kind of double-sided sticky tape. And then the direction we want this to go, and you can see it in the helmet if you're actually looking at it. There's actually, I know you can't see it, but um, right, right in here, there's actually a line where they want you to run the wire. Um, so we are going to kind of go with that option here, and we will put it in, if you can see that, like that. And attempt to do this without messing it up too bad. Okay, get that into place, and then same thing on the other side. So I just pull, get these out of the way. It just pops open like that. See, ear cups right there. Pull that out, and then we'll take our second one and get this tape undone. There we go. See, pop it open. Boom. Try not to get it too messed up from my hands. Now it's not ultra sticky, so you can kind of maneuver it around like I'm gonna have to do here because I don't know if I'm really right handed, like to the point where my left hand is fairly useless. <laughs> so we were joking about that the other day actually. Um, how if you ever try to throw a ball if you're really, really right handed? feel uh feel a little bit odd trying to do it all right so we have a huge mess on my desk right now so i'll kind of toss some of this stuff out of the way and let's see here i don't need that right now or that okay earpiece number one i don't think there's a left and a right um to these it won't matter uh which one you put where so now that i get this thing all uh, oh man, it really sticks to the inside of the helmet if you're not careful. So we'll do like this. And we will attempt to get this thing to stick in place. It kind of wants to go in there, but it's not quite the right size. That's kind of a bummer. Alright, we'll do that. There we go. And then this does have a plastic film on it, but we will leave that on for now. We can pull that off in a second. And then the same deal here on this side. Driver goes in, and then it has its little spot. Try to get that to do what we want. Ugh. Beast. Okay, I can hear it grabbing. All right. In. Cool. So you got uh, a little bit different uh, side on those, which actually we could add to the back to um, get some more grip, but we won't worry about that right now. And they also had these really big Velcro pads. Uh, I don't really know where you would put those because they're like extra, extra big and they're extra big Velcro. So I don't know um, if they're going to be exposed in your helmet. Uh, which I believe mine are you could throw these cuffs over so these are little ear cuffs, which we can put on at any time That's not really a big deal. We'll save those all All right, so now we need to put this on the outside So move the helmet back a little bit and show my gigantic mess that I have going on here. Let's turn the camera All right, so all right goes in here doo, doo, doo. Pretty simple loosen it up a little bit and then you should be able to do it with your hands if you can hang on to this tiny little wrench. 
loosen that up. I don't think we'll need to completely remove it. You just need to be able to open it up enough to slot it in. And then you gotta figure out what side you want it on. So um, obviously throttle's on the right hand, so you probably wanna put it on this side. So if you need to, you can uh, move around a little bit because you can, you know, let go of your throttle while you're riding, but uh, it's not as easy to do, um, especially if you're in traffic, stuff like that. So uh, we'll pull this all the way out, break our helmet. So this is what a R1200 looks like without its padding in it. And then we will, it'll mount like this on the helmet, and you want to kind of position it somewhere. It's not going to interfere uh, with it with your shield and that kind of stuff. Um, I think if we can get it to go right there, that'd be perfect. So let's see if we can do that. So, boom. Okay, I am using a fair amount of force here and kind of giving it this wiggling motion so that I can get it uh, up and in. And something to think about is where you're going to run these cords because they're going to have to go kind of in here somewhere. So we'll kind of do that. And then grab our little Allen head and attempt to tighten these down. Okay, it's pretty tight. Same deal over here. Do, 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 do. It's right up against the padding, so it's kind of difficult to get these things going. There you go. You really got to work for it. You got to want it. You got to want it. And I guess I don't want it bad enough. <laughs> you can kind of see what I'm working with here. They're pressed right up against it, so I'm trying to get that tool up there. You could back it off a little bit, but that wouldn't be ideal, I don't think. There we go. Now she's tightening up. Get that side a little bit. We'll go over here, get this side a little bit, because it's a clamp, so you want to get even pressure distributed. There we go. Alright. Oh yeah. She's on there tight now. Cool. So that's what it'll look like. And then when you have this guy, just like this. And click. And that's what it'll look like. So as far as the wiring goes, uh, we are just going to fish this into the helmet. Uh, Cause you got, uh, let's see, fair amount of wiring going on. Um, this would be, I wish it said right and left. But obviously this one is the closest driver and then this one is the furthest away driver. Um, so you're going to fish this in. Uh, I'm gonna go back behind this panel that will drop out um, and then fish it over. Same deal with the, with the driver itself. Fish it over um, and then mate them up. And then we just gotta mount the microphone which is going to go um, somewhere in the front here. Since the cord's so short for the mic, obviously it goes um, like this. So you're going to plug it in here and it's going to attach somewhere and go. Um, it's flexible so you can move it wherever. Uh, it's going to go kind of right in that front um, against that mouth guard, uh, the breath guard, so that it's kind of out of the wind. Um, and then when we put our chin protector back in, um, this guy this mesh chin protector when it goes back in. Hopefully this will diffuse a lot of air coming through and with the extra cuff on the mic, it'll diffuse even more and you shouldn't have to worry about it. So that's kind of the hope. So um, I will wrap this up here and uh, a driver came out and uh, I'll come back when I have it all kind of put together because this is all just kind of finessing the wires into place. So I'll come back in a minute. All right, so with that quick break, so I could kind of run the wiring and stuff, um, one thing I noticed is do not pull real hard on these wires when you're trying to fish them in. 
Um, there's a piece in between this RF-1200 that's just solid foam, and I may have pulled a little too hard on one of the cords just trying to finesse it into that. <laughs> there wasn't much finesse, actually, because I pulled too hard, um, but to finesse it into that little recess so that it would go in nicely. Um, I may have pulled a little too hard, so we'll see. I, might, I may have broke it. <laughs> but uh, just so you know, be careful with them. Um, so I pulled a little tar up too hard on one of the wires. But uh, one thing I did have to do, just so you know on the padding on this side, is uh, you can see a little bit of a gap here, is there's a plastic ridge on an RF-1200 that mates up on the inside of this. And when you put this in, um, it's gonna fill a lot of that gap. So just keep in mind, that you're gonna have cords here too now that you didn't have going in and you're gonna have to actually cut so I just use some regular household scissors and cut a chunk out of that plastic not very big but then it uh, kind of gives it something to slot into and then uh, you can put all this padding back in to your helmet um, if you don't take this padding out it's gonna be a little bit harder to get this stuff lined up but um, as you can see it wasn't really that difficult to put it back in um, you just, once you cut that, it gives you a slot for the wires to go in, and then it has, kind of has a clean, hopefully you can see, it has a pretty clean finish there on the end. Padding doesn't go all the way back in. You kind of really got to work at it to get it to go in there, but it uh, looks pretty clean there. So one more cord to connect um, on the inside, and that is going to be for the microphone. So one thing I noticed is, um, obviously, this has got that same uh, really, really sticky Velcro but it's all plastic on the inside here. This is all gonna be some kind of a plastic finish. So there's nothing for it to hold on to. Well, Senna was thinking about that and they included these really nice pads um, that are a little bit bigger than the microphone pad and uh, they go right to it. So double-sided sticky tape. So basically all you have to do is figure out exactly where you're you want your microphone to line up at. Um, I want mine to be kind of right in front of my mouth, um, right in the middle of this. And that's just uh, just for mine. So it'll sit a little bit on the driver. Um, so I don't want it to. I'd like, rather have it back here, but I feel like that it positions the microphone a little too far back. So we will, and it positions it right over this hole. Um, and that's gonna be what this pad plugs into and you don't want that. So you gotta make sure you, Position it a little bit forward, a little bit out of the way of all that, which should be about right there. So I'll just hold that position, uh, which is like right here on the helmet. Pull off our double-sided sticky tape, um, which is always fun to do because sometimes it doesn't come off. If you have fingernails, it might work better. I actually cut mine, so uh, all right. I cut my nails pretty, pretty short, as you can see. Otherwise, uh, they just end up getting dirty anyways. So, uh, boom, there we go. Tape in. Uh, we will connect this before. Um, and these are kind of cool. They're, you can't mess them up. They have these little arrows on them, and these have a little cutout. So, pretty simple. These just go bam, and that's it. Um, and then we will make sure that stays behind the padding. Let's tuck that wire in, and... Ooh, microphone's in. That's all there is to it. So now all I have to do is button the padding up, uh, which is always fun to try to find where these holes are, but not too big of a deal typically. Um, pull this back, strap back through, and then there's a hole on the inside somewhere. Oh, there it is. I can see it. it just goes like that. Clip, 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 clip. Everything pops back together. There's another one. And you can see the, hopefully you can see that the microphone's right here. And I can position that wherever. Strap one, strap two. And my super helpful parts guy is gonna come over here and ruin my video. Thanks, Jack. He's <laughs> walking away. All right, and then all we gotta do is put this guy in. So it's slapped in, whoop, get that out of the way. And then I actually took the visor off of my helmet because I did, just gonna make it easier. <laughs> no real reason why. Um, this just 
the slots back in. And that's it. So all right guys, so that's in. You just push it into place and then stretch it as far as you want and you're golden. So there we go. Um, Shelly RF1200 with a Senna 10S Bluetooth install. Um, like I said, be careful with these wires. If you pull too hard trying to get them in between the foam pieces that are not removable, you can damage the cords. I don't know if I did yet because I haven't powered this thing on yet because uh, it's been sitting around, hasn't been charged yet. My fault for not charging it before the video. Um, but as you can see, uh, you can't really tell anything's going on, nothing special. I put the foam covers over the uh, drivers here or the um, speakers, whatever you want to call them, they're, they're drivers. <laughs> and then made sure they were mounted in nice and tight. Uh, microphone is real nice and flush on the inside of the helmet, which I don't know if you can see that with the lighting, but uh, it's sitting kind of uh, midway up in the mouth port. And then hopefully that little screen mesh will down some of the sound from the wind. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. Showy RF1200, Cine 10S, all ready to rock and roll. So if you have any questions, um, you can always give us a call, 952-465-0500. This is Dan Prey from Motor Primo Motorsports in Lakeville, Minnesota. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, like it, share the video. I know it was kind of a cluster. <laughs> it was the first time I've ever done it um, with no instructions. I think it was fairly straightforward. Um, I mean, I've seen it, I've seen them on helmets before, so I have a pretty good idea how stuff goes together, and I'm fairly mechanically inclined, so if you don't know how to use electronics at all, and you don't know how to assemble things, and you don't even know how to use um, an Allen wrench, I would avoid doing this yourself. It's hard to say good luck. So hopefully this helps, guys. Um, I appreciate you watching, sharing the videos, and I'm Dan Moto Prima Motorsports in Lakeville, Minnesota. I am the Triumph Champion here, so if you have questions, anything at all that we can help you with, give us a call. Otherwise, um, visit us online at www.motoprimo.com. And we'll see you in the next one.